Here I have a MacBook Air with the pixelated lines running across the screen. And the impact point was right around here at the bottom left corner. And sometimes when I press on it, I can see that the screen is okay for a few seconds and then it goes away. So this definitely is a screen problem. And in this video, I'll be replacing the screen. So let me go ahead and turn off the computer, shut it down and show you the model here in the back of the computer. Let's remove the cover and take a look at the bottom part here. There's a fine print that says A2179. That is the model of this MacBook Air. So let's jump right into it. So I bought the replacement screen here and you can actually get them from Amazon or eBay. What I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below. They come in a, in a set, meaning that the screen is a full assembly and also they provide screwdrivers so you don't have to buy them. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing is to remove the screws here in the back. I will be using that star shape or the Pantalope P5, they call them. Uh, this is a little star shape looking, 1.2. Um, is the uh, the size of the, uh, the screwdriver. So let's go ahead and remove all the screws. Now the screws are not the same size. As you remove them, make sure you put it in a position where you remember how to put them back together. The screws on the top four screws are much longer compared to the screws at the bottom and the one on the side. Once all the screws are removed, go ahead and open up the back cover you can hear the little pop because there are two clipper right in the center to clip down right here to make, you know, to hold the back cover. So when you remove it, you're going to expect the two little pop sound. Next part is to disconnect the battery. I will expose the connector here by peeling the plastic to the back and slide the connector to the left. Now, you do not want to snap the cable. Those cables are fragile. What I like to do is to do a push and pull method while I'm pushing the connector at the same time, guiding it to pull to the left to disconnect the, uh, the battery. That's how I remove the connector. Now, the next step is to go ahead and get uh, Let's see, Torque T3. So this is a T3 screwdriver. Um, I like to remove one, two screws in the bracket. And that way we can remove and disconnect the LCD connector. So that is the LCD connector that connects to the LCD screen board. So this here has to be disconnected. Next step is to disconnect the Wi-Fi. I'm removing one of the tiny little screw. Remove the bracket. Go ahead and lift up that antenna. So that two little um, connector that connects as a Wi-Fi to the motherboard. Next step, I'll be using a torque T5. So this is a torque T5. I'll be removing a few screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The fifth and the sixth.
Okay, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and gently remove the Wi-Fi antenna. So now that the LCD board is free and loose, you can see that it is, you know, free and loose. Now is the point to remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Now, um, you may have to wiggle them a little bit, gently pull them out because they do have a double-sided adhesive tape sort of thing that is taping down the uh, Wi-Fi antenna right here in the middle. So you may have to uh, gently pry it open on this part here. And once it's pry open, you can simply just slide it out. All right, there you have it. The next step is to go ahead and get a Torque T8. Remove the three screws on the left hinge and three screws on the right hinge. That way we can remove the LCD screen. They kind of had it really tight. Now, when that is done, go ahead and open up the LCD screen. Just open up your screen. And at the same time, you might want to guide the hinge out of the laptop. So go ahead and guide it, slide it out just like that. And the entire screen will just come right off. Okay, so that is the broken screen. Here comes the replacement screen. Uh, make sure that the hinge is open. If your hinge is kind of closed like this and you can get it open, get a Torque T8, gently get into the hole and kind of peel it back to open it up. Now, at this point, you want to make sure that the LCD board will be sitting above the laptop. They're not meant to be underneath the laptop, they're meant to be above the laptop. Hold up the screen and gently guide that hinge back into the, um, uh, back into the, uh, the laptop, guide it in, just like that. While the thing is still holding up, bring one of the screw because we have to have the screen closed in order to finish up the installation. Now I am just putting one of the screw here to hold the screen and close it down. And this guy is finally get in there. Okay, do the same on this side of the screen. Okay, once that is done,
come back and finish up the remaining screws here. While I'm still holding down the LCD screen, I am going to put the, um, the two black screws here, holding down the LCD board. Go ahead and close it down. All right, and last screw. Now, if you notice that the replacement screen here do not come with that little bracket so you can see that there is uh, two brackets holding down to the connector um, what you can do is you can come back and transfer them over some company they pre-install them for you um, you don't have to you know do this extra step here to do the transfer some company they do not it's not a big deal because you won't be, um, you'll be discarding that broken screen anyways. And that bracket is no use, you'll be throwing it out. So if you can save some money, um, so I guess certain company they sell it for cheaper price, then you would have to do this extra step by transferring the bracket. But I think some of the company that sell on a higher price, they actually pre-install this bracket for you. They're not that difficult, just transfer over. Okay, once that is done, go ahead and reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cable. Please do not force it in because they are just a two tiny little circles. The connector are in this circle shape. They lock it in, lock in themselves, meaning that you just have to position them carefully sitting on top of it and then gently press it in. They do not need force to force it in. So the circle, you just have to make sure they align properly and gently uh, close it in. Do not damage the, uh, the connector. Okay, once that is in, let's move on to the next step is to connect the LCD screen cable. They are kind of like Lego, they snap it in easily. You just have to uh, make sure you position them correctly. Have the bracket to go back on top of it and two of the screws here to securely fasten the bracket. All right, once that is done, go ahead and reconnect the uh, battery connector. Slide it back to your right, push it all the way in and have the tape to close it down. Next is to position the back cover like such. Once the thing is positioned, press in the middle to close it in. Next is to uh, have all the screws go back into the 
the back cover. This is a Pentalo P5 Starship looking screwdriver with 1.2 size. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen, please check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you directly to either Amazon or eBay where you can find that replacement screen and the tools for this repair. Now, since you watch all the way to the end of the video, the important tips right now is to have your adapter ready because remember that we disconnected the battery earlier. By disconnecting the battery, the motherboard right now just does not like, kind of like reset um, it doesn't remember anything. So you have to have the charger to firstly power up the laptop. Once it's being powered, then you can go ahead and, you know, use it normally. So because this is a first, um, the once the battery is disconnected, this is the first time powering up the computer. You need to have the cable plugged in. Okay, let's take a look at the screen. Make sure things are working. And... Uh, we should be able to disconnect and go from there. So I noticed that the battery was at 0%. Earlier, the battery at the beginning of the video, the battery is really um, dead. So hopefully, we may have to give it like a minute or two to power up the laptop. Um, if you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and click on the light I mean the light button uh, if you feel f if you want to show your gratitude to show appreciation please click on YouTube super thanks which allow you to um, share your gratitude um, in to support my work in my channel so you can see that the screen is good and you to press down here you have a solid screen uh, it's no longer that pixelated screen fuzzy screen so Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to charge up the... Uh